Okay, so for the third one, I'm gonna go to file and open in that same folder, 10.0 is combo paths. Not everything's gonna be curves, not everything's gonna be straight edges, sometimes it is a combination. So we're pretty much gonna do the same thing, trace it out and stroke the path with red paint again. But now we have a straight edge, then a curved edge, then a straight edge. So I'm gonna take my pen tool right here. And again, if you have a straight line, you do not click and drag. That's the biggest mistake people make, is they click and drag over to here. Okay, this is not a curve. So you're just gonna click once at the beginning of a straight edge and let go. Hold shift and click at the end for a straight horizontal line. No clicking and dragging there. Okay, a curve is where you click and drag. So from the beginning of this curve, that's a corner. I hold option key and I go up to the right because the curve is bending and going up to the right. Let go of my mouse, let go of the option key, and now I'm gonna follow that curve. It's coming down and to the right. So right here at the end, press and hold and pull your mouse down and to the right. There we go. Now this little direction line is also set up to continue the next one. But again, our curve comes down and stops and then it shoots off in another straight line. But this is also starting from a corner. So I'm gonna hold Option key for a corner right here, and I'm just gonna click, not click and drag, because that's not a curve. I'm gonna hold Option and click. See how it cut off that little direction line? Now I do not hold Option and I click, do not hold Option and click. Command click to deselect, space bar for my hand tool. And on this one it says make the straight lines first, then use the convert anchor point tool on the top point to bend. So I wanna show you how to do that, just so you know what the tool does. I'm gonna click, 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 click. Okay, but what I want this line to do is go down and then bend across the top. I didn't bend it. So again, any lines that you draw with the pen tool are very, very flexible. I can press and hold down on my pen tool and come all the way to the bottom of that list, the convert point tool. What I do is I hover over this corner, click and drag to bend bend a corner into a curve. There we go. Now my curve comes down and bounces up instead of having all straight edges. You can convert curves to corners and corners to curves. See, I can just click here and convert it back into straight edges or click and drag, as every curve does, to bend it. Pretty cool. Press and hold down, I wanna come back to my pen tool, command click outside to deselect another line. Hold my space bar for the hand tool and I'm gonna push this up and maybe zoom out a little bit so I can see all of that. There we go. And I'm gonna draw all of this, okay? So again, command click to deselect the previous line. Now I'm gonna click and let go for a straight line, click and let go to end a straight line. Curves is where you drag. Option key to start from a corner, the curve goes up to the right, so I go up to the right. Let go of the mouse and the option key, no option key at the end of your curve, just click and drag it down to bend it. The next thing I'm gonna draw is a straight line, so I'm not gonna be clicking and dragging, but it also starts from a corner. So option key for a corner and click. Then I let go of the option key and click. Let go of the option key and click. The next thing starts from a corner. That's when I wanna hold my option key, when I am starting from a corner. 
option key for a corner, the curve goes back up to the right again. I let go of the mouse in the option key and I follow that curve. It's coming down and to the right. Press and hold and continue down and to the right. The last segment is a straight line and it starts from a corner. So I'm going to hold my option key for a corner and just click because it's a straight line. I don't click and drag. Now I let go of the mouse in the option key. Click to end. Command click always when you are done. Okay, and at the bottom here it says finish this line segment using all the things you now know about the pen tool. So I'm going to go through this kind of quick on mine. You should know how to draw this by now. For straight horizontal lines, click, shift click. Option to start from a corner, the curve goes down. No option key and the curve comes up. Option key and click for a straight line from the corner. Shift click. Option key to start from a corner, the curve goes down. No option key at the end of the curve and the curve goes back up. Option key for a corner and click. Shift click for a straight line. Option key to start from a corner and the curve goes down. No option key at the end of the curve and it comes back up. Option key to start from a corner and click to start a straight line. Shift click to end a straight horizontal line. Command zero will zoom out. Again, we've got a work path. So I'm going to double click the name and call that combo paths. Like I mentioned before, I click once down below. Then I click once on the name. That will reactivate all of them at the same time. Click the pop-up. Stroke all the paths with the same brush. You can turn simulate pressure on or off. It doesn't matter to me. And there's my proof that I have traced them correctly. Click down below. Now I don't have to look at the paths anymore. I just look at my painted strokes. And I save that as combo paths. Last name, first name combos or combo paths so you show me you know how to connect straight edges to curved edges so we can move on and actually trace something in a photograph 